was her mother crazy? Was her mother more envious, cruel? Does it matter? She had a little to forget. Christina Crawford's Mommy Dearest. She can constantly criticize her appearance. She can constantly monitor her appearance. You don't look good. You don't look good in that dress. Have you had your hair cut lately? Why do you have to look the way you look? You know, ultimately wears down the soul of the girl since the girl gets pronounced mentally ill. And instead of the mother being so pronounced and then is taken, called off to an institution, who would encounter the silent treatment for 10 days, for two weeks, in the house. And it would only end if and when the daughter had wept enough and apologized enough and asked for forgiveness, begged for forgiveness. So uh, the mother will, that it's proof of love that she says you're stupid, you make every wrong decision, you've chosen the wrong friends, you're in the wrong crowd, you, you, you're majoring in the wrong subject, you've chosen the wrong career, your husband is the worst thing you've ever done. So she'll bully the daughter bully her and racial and religious differences. There are many immigrant daughters and mothers, many racially marginalized daughters and mothers are tied up with each other. They have only each other to depend upon and they watch each other's backs. Uh, not always, believe me, not always, but there's a little bit more of it that came through in the interviews than with white women in America. Uh, it was a writing workshop and I did it in Italy with American women who were artists and writers, and somebody stood up right away and said, no, no, women always support each other, sisterhood, sisterhood. And then she looked to the other women for support. She said, isn't that right? <laughs> and then there's hair pulling and screaming and dragging along the floor with no apologies. Let me note that the fathers don't rescue the daughters. Just as in fairy tales, when the evil queen is going to lock up Rapunzel, put a curse, sleeping for hundred years, all the so-called good men are out to lunch. They're absent. They're not being heroic in Venus, which does mirror a good deal of experience. Imagine how great our need is to feel safe with our mothers, to feel mothered by our mothers, especially if we're not being well mothered.